Hello friends, today I will show you how you can download Oracle in your computer for free. For that, you have to download it. So, I have put a download link in a description from where you can download it. So, after clicking on description, you will be on this page. So, you have to go to this folder and then click on this icon here. So, I will click here and then click on download anyway so your download will be started but it is almost 300 MB file so it will take some minute so I will pause this video for a while ok so we have successfully download the oracle file so now you have to go to your know, download folder look here here it is for now you have required one software name WinRAR for extracting this file. So if you don't have WinRAR, I have put a link in a description from where you can download it and then after downloading, you have to install it. So now, just right click on this folder and then extract here. Okay, the folder is extracted look at here it is disk1 okay then open this folder then here it is you have to double click on setup so i will click here and the setup is started okay it will take some time for installing till that i will stop video okay now you have to click on next so i'll click next then click here on i accept the terms in the license agreement then click on next then again click on next and then click on yes so now here it is the username of your oracle software will be here the system and and password you have to enter yourself so I will enter my password again here then click on next and lastly click on install again it will take some time so I will again pause this video here the installation has completed then click on finish okay after that, you have to again go to your browser and then go to this link which I will be pasted in a description link and then click on enter. Okay, it's taking some time because we have just installed this. Okay, okay it's opening. Okay, after that you will on this window so simply you have to just click on application express then you have to put your username which is system and then you have to put your password which you have entered during the installation so i will enter my password and click on login After login, you will be on this page. So, what you have to do is create one new workspace. For that, you have to enter a database username. That is, you can enter anything. So, I will enter guarantee. Then, copy this name and paste it here also. Then, set up a password. I will do one again click here and again enter password and then click on create workspace okay it is taking some time so we will wait okay now you are on this page so what you have to do click here to login so 
you have to click here then you will be on this page now you have to just enter your password here and then click on login then you will be on this page so now you have to click on xql workshop then click on sql commands and here we are done now you can execute any query here so thank you for watching video please subscribe